You know, keeping your home pest-free can be a real challenge, especially here in Oklahoma. Whether you're in the city or out in the suburbs, Oklahoma's weather is extreme. This can drive the insect and rodent population to relocate. Where? Your home. Hi, I'm Mike Brush with ABBS Pest Control, and we're taking a closer look today at those unwanted little guests trying to invade your home. So join us and let's talk pest control. What we're gonna talk about is rodents and give you some ideas of what to look for in your house so you know you got a rodent problem and you need to have it taken care of. Living out in the country, you're more likely to deal with species such as field mice. Out here, you have clearings where you have things that might look to come into your home as the weather's drop. Hi, I'm Jordan with ABBS Pest Control, and I'm here to do a rodent inspection. Come with me, let's take a look. We start with an inside inspection, checking down into the crawl space if you have one, and then going up into the attic space, checking around the dwelling space to see if there's any activity indoors. We're looking for entryways, we're looking for holes on the roof line. We're looking for uh, old dryer vents is a, is a great way for uh, rodents to get inside to your house. Uh, we're looking for feces, we're looking for rub marks that when the, when the rodent sticks their head in and they have to wiggle their way in, they leave a big fur mark out on the outside. All these things are indication you have the possibility of having rodent activity. With older homes like this, you'll find that there's oftentimes gaps between crown molding and brick. Here, I can fit my thumb in. As you can see, the mice can climb up this brick and go straight into the attic space from here. So as I come up here, I can smell an odor of mouse urine. The primary signs that we're looking for is rodent trailing, which is their feces, their urine, and any rubbing. We also look out for any gnawing or chewing. We check your wires. We're looking for droppings and trailing of this sort burrowing throughout your insulation and we're checking your wires for any chewing. Here you can see a hole that the rodents are using to burrow and make their home below the insulation. From what I can see up here we can definitely determine that they're dealing with mice. With mice being a social animal they'll look for new ways in as we begin to seal others. So some other ways that we look for are ways that they're not technically using at this moment. This flex duct, while not a problem right now, would become a problem if they were to come through their dryer vent and chew through. This is where that exhaust actually vents. This is actually one of our specialty products. It's a magnetized rodent resistant guard. So when it blows, it's able to do that uninterrupted. What we do is replace your old dryer vent with a, a up to date dryer vent. It actually shuts with a magnet so where the rodents can't get inside the dryer vent and then eventually get into your laundry room. Well, that's it for now, folks. Be on the lookout for our next video. And when you're ready to talk pest control, give us a call. ABBS, your hometown pest control company.